What is uranium glass? Well, uranium glass is going to be any glass that's made that contains uranium that when exposed to ultraviolet light, UV light, black light, it will glow. And let's get pretty technical here for a moment. You'll see this picture before you. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven vials. All of these are different forms of uranium that you can actually get at home. There's this whole article on it. I'll post a link below. It's kind of an interesting read for uh, for nerds like me who like information. Regardless of what the information is, I like it. I just like to absorb it. But this middle one here, this is sodium diurinate. This is what is actually mixed in with the glass or ceramic compounds. And this is what is going to give the glass its ability to glow radioactively, you know, to just shine that bright green. Now, uranium fell out of widespread production right about the same time that we developed our nuclear arms. Um, you can see here is a picture of Little Boy, the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima, and the interior components, working mechanisms, show the uranium-235 in there. And during 1940-ish, up until the mid-1990s, so about a 50-plus year span, uranium was essentially place marked or earmarked for government use only. Now this first glass we're going to look at here that's uranium glass, it's Vaseline glass. A lot of people call anything that glows Vaseline glass, and that's not quite true. The way to look at it is anything that glows is uranium glass, but not everything that glows is Vaseline glass. Any Vaseline glass will be uranium glass, but it's not the other way around. Vaseline is a subset, but people mistake it and use it to explain all things uranium. That's not the case. You can see here the color of vintage Vaseline. It is the same as the color of the glass itself, and that's why they had decided to use the term Vaseline glass because the colors were so similar. Next, we'll look at a couple other types of uranium glass, and we'll start with custard glass. Custard glass is opaque or semi-opaque. It's a usually a pale yellow in color. Now, we'll go ahead and move on to jadeite glass. Jadeite is, again, opaque or semi-opaque. It's a pale green color. Um, it, the name was trademarked originally as jadeite, J-A-D-I-T-E, but even when I was Googling it and searching for it, it was auto-correcting to J-A-D-E-I-T-E, -E, which is a modern usage, but the trademark name for this particular type of glass is how you see it on the screen, J-A-D-I-T-E. Next item we're going to look at is Burmese glass. Burmese glass, in my opinion, is extremely beautiful, especially with the glow it's giving at the top right of the screen you can see there. Burmese glass is within the shades from pink to yellow it goes from pink and it moves its way down to yellow and it is again an opaque glass now you have what is going to be the most common form of uranium glass that you're probably going to see it's what we come across the most often and that's going to be depression glass depression glass is either transparent or semi-transparent it's a very pale green color you can see here it looks green it you can see through it really well but it still does glow beautifully underneath a relatively strong black light as long as you had a good black light set up you'll be able to get the glow just like in these pictures here keywords to be used when listing uranium glass are um, here are a few good words you can use within your title we'll start with the most obvious uranium glass and you'll have your Vaseline, which can be used for anything art, art deco, vintage, antique. Um, then if it's branded or if it's marked, you want to put that in there, as well as the color. Sometimes you have your cobalt, your green, your pink. Throw those in as well. And then a couple alternatives you can use if it's non-cutlery or dishware would be paperweight or aquarium. A lot of people use black lights in their aquarium, and they like stuff like this as decoration.
I wanted to touch base on the history because I am a history buff. Here, the first use of uranium blast, first known use, actually dates back to first century. In the uh, Bay of Naples, there is a mosaic that contains yellow glass that has 1% uh, uranium oxide in it. And, um, I mean, pretty much we jump around. It's not used widely until the mid to late 19th century. So those of you who don't know, that's the 1800s. Um, it was most popular between about 1880 through the beginning of the Great Depression. But, as I stated earlier, the U.S. production of uranium glass pretty much ceased towards the end of World War II because of the U.S. government's uh, confiscation of all, all uranium due to the Manhattan Project. Now, the Manhattan Project is the project that had developed Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs. Um, and after this project was done and taken care of, the United States finally started letting um, businesses use uranium again in their glass making. Uh, businesses such as uh, Mosser and Fenton and um, Gibson Glass, those are all continually using the uranium glass again now. But uranium is still being regulated as what is considered a strategic material. When on eBay, if you just search uranium glass, you're going to see that, I mean, it's a pretty broad term. You're going to come up with 2,500 listings. Um, it's quite a bit of stuff here, but let's just take a quick look through all of this and look at the different pictures we see. We'll take a peek at some of the keywords being used and uh, go from there. And one of the things I've noticed in a decent amount of stuff is uh, Art Deco. So obviously you've got vintage or antique, whatever it may be. Your Vaseline or uranium or um, I see glow. I personally don't like the word glow. I doubt it'd be used. Black light, I could see that. Um, but we'll look at this picture right here. This vintage Czech green fasted uranium glass bead earrings Vaseline. So that's a really good use of um, keywords in here. They're trying to use up every last bit of space possible and using appropriate words. The only thing I do differently is I capitalize the first letter of uh, each of these words. It, it, it bothers me. It just does not look good. It looks a lot cleaner. And it just looks more professional. But look at how these just freaking pop. How they glow in this picture is, to me, like one of the number one selling points. That's why I would buy if that's what I was looking for. Um, you've got your price points in here from the multi-hundreds down to, you know, these marbles, which are $10 free shipping. But... If I had to guess, these are probably current production. This is not something that is um, vintage, you know, made in the 50s or prior. When um, Vaseline glass and uranium glass was still big in production. Now, um, let's head on over to the sold listings. I can show you guys some of the stuff over there as well as the highest priced sold item within the last three months and then we'll uh we'll jump back and look at a couple other things we're over in the sold listings right now and first thing i'm going to point out is there are 3969 results in the sold now after doing the math that's going to equate to a 52 percent sell through rate um because you have to divide this number right here by three because this is three months worth 90 days worth of um, sold results and you're going to take that number and divide it by three and then divide that number by the current amount of active listed items to get your sell through rate which like i said is 52 percent so as long as you appropriately title your item and you've got a very good um, main photo your item has mathematically a 100% chance of selling within two months, and as long as it is at a fair price point. So let's take a couple looks here. Now, you remember that um, starfish we were talking about just a second ago. You see, here's another one. That one looks okay. You know, it looks all right. But take a look at this one down here. It just, this one just pops for me. It just, I mean, it really catches my attention, and 
granted it's $4.99 plus $4.99 shipping you're not gonna be making a lot there and um, I don't even technically I don't believe this one it might be vintage I don't know it's probably some, something like a lot of these that were mass-produced I see a bunch of them in here but that is just a really cool way to show it off now um, oh and that's the cobalt one actually that that's the cobalt one which is right here and I'm, I'm a much bigger fan of the cobalt color than I am of the Vaseline the uh, yellowish looking glass because the blue glass by itself is very appealing and then the fact that it glows is just you know over the top for me now let's go ahead and take a look at the most expensive items sold on here and I did a little bit of research into it I used uh, a website I can't remember what it's called at the moment I'll pull it in in the second when I finish doing this voiceover and we'll have the website name in here to where you guys can see it but if I sort by by uh, highest price you can see the item that sold value this um, optic fishbowl now this thing right here I looked into it it's only like 17 inches tall by nine inches from front to back nine inches wide it's not a bowl per se it is more of a cylindrical object if it were lying on its side and uh, so it's only 17 inches tall and 19 inches wide um and it, i mean it's so it's not that big but the price point that they had it listed at was 850 dollars or best offer now ebay doesn't show you what offer was accepted however this website that i use does you can go and compare through them here you can see the website I was talking about just a second ago. It's called Watch Count. Um, I have a link below for it. But when you look down at the highlighted part, it shows that there was 20 watchers on it. It had 412 views, and it ended up selling for $650, which was the best offer that was received. Um, that is absolutely incredible. I mean, $650 plus $123 in shipping is quite a large amount of money i do want to take a quick second to point out that all of these terms we just saw here custard jadeite depression vaseline all of these are used with other items that are not uranium glass that do not glow um, it can be things that are the yellow color the pink color like depression glass is also a description of anything that was made within the Great Depression time period. So these words, when you're looking, may mean something other than uranium glass. Don't forget to hit subscribe and smash that like button. Click on the notification bell where you can be notified when we have new videos coming out. We are Hex Treasures on Instagram, Facebook, eBay, and of course here on YouTube. Take a second and check out some of these other videos we have. We have great tutorial videos for anybody wanting to sell on eBay, as well as some random live working hangouts and things of that nature. Hope to see you guys in our chat when we're live.